cash money. Can you go backpacking for $200 or less? I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. Ah! My butt is wet. Let's find out. This is my show, gosh darn. I'm sitting here in the middle of all of my backpacking gear, planning a backpacking trip, and I'm not going to get to take any of this. My pack is starting to feel a bit uncomfortable. I was not warm last night. Ah! Over 10 years, I have accrued all of my backpacking gear. I know that backpacking is an expensive hobby. I'm gonna start over from square one and see if I can buy all of the gear I need for this trip for $200 or less. Man, that like sounds really crazy when I say it again. This means that I'm mostly buying used gear. I'm trying to avoid spending money on something that's not good quality because if I was gonna like keep using it over time, I want it to last. In order for this to work, I have to lay some ground rules. No borrowing. I'm gonna do a little bit of thrift store shopping. No discounts. I might have gone over with that. For this video, I am not an REI member, so if I want to take advantage of any of REI's discounts on rentals, I will have to purchase an REI membership. Buy as much as possible. I could walk into my local REI and easily rent gear for myself and for a friend for under $200 to go backpacking, but for the sake of the challenge, I'm gonna try and buy as much as I possibly can and only rent as a last resort. I'm going to actually get a pack and boots and a sleeping bag and all of that stuff. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my local REI. Next, I'll check the used gear site and garage sales, make my way to thrift stores. I feel like that's a good plan, so let's get to it. Dun, 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 dun. So I just talked to somebody in rentals. If I did rent, a bear canister would be $7 and a tent would actually just be 24. Just a good option, just in case. That's not wood. <laughs> For water, stuff, I'm gonna end up using some sort of chemical treatment. They're really inexpensive and they're also really lightweight. Potable aqua, less than $10. I do need a compass. Compasses can get really expensive. For what I'm doing, I can go with something inexpensive. I just need to be able to know which way is north in case I take a poop too far off trail and need to get back on there. Of all the awesome stuff that is in the store, this is what I'm gonna wind up buying. Had fun, thrift stores are next. I'm gonna do a little bit of thrift store shopping. See what we can find, dude. <laughs> that was easy, they had nothing. So off to the next thrift store, we'll see what they have. All right, here we go. This store has an entire section marked sporting goods. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just bought a pack. Oh, wow. How does it count to you? What a find. I have my pack. And it was only $13. Still no tent and no sleeping pad. So we just arrived at our third thrift store of the day. Sleeping pad. It's only $4. It's definitely within my budget. Definitely no tents. It's looking like the tent is going to be pretty impossible to get without renting. I just got the sleeping bag and it's perfect. It's huge. I'm going to open it up when I get home give it a sniff test, put it in the wash, and then yeah, it's a leopard bag. All right, let's go home, I have to pee. Uh, yeah, I'm running a little bit low on my budget. Food is where I feel like I can probably save the most. Part of me is debating buying stuff that I don't have to cook. It's like, maybe that'll save me money. Boots! These are my used hiking shoes that I got from the REI used gear site. Yeah, man, these are in awesome shape. Boots! I wanted to limit my apparel to just taking the stuff that I thought the average like active person might have in their closet. This is what I'm bringing. A normal pair of black leggings, a running sports bra that I've had for six years, I think. Tank top, this fleece pullover, and this big North Face Denali jacket, and this hand knit hat that I made. In case you can't tell, what I don't have over here is a rain layer. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. Probably end up buying a poncho. I still don't have a tent. I've sent so many messages on used gear sites and just haven't heard back from anybody. This is um, getting down to the wire a little bit. This is the last day before we go on our trip. I still need to get my parking pass. Oh, shit. no. 
I saw that it was $5, but I wasn't thinking I need a two day pass, which will be $10, which is gonna be obviously twice as expensive. I did wind up renting a bear canister and then I also rented a tent. So I also wound up making myself a repair kit. This is just an old pill bottle and then I attached a lighter on the outside with the hair tie. I wrapped some duct tape around this. Duct tape is really great for repairing rips and holes and tents. My illumination is this shitty flashlight. This is a pillow that I took off of our couch. I got cord because I'll use this to attach my hat or my tent to the top of my pack. I have a knife as well. This is the map that I printed off of Caltopa. Caltopa is a free resource. This is my total grocery haul. Protein bar, carrots, avocado, beer, peanut butter, fake meat, tortillas, bananas. I was able to come in under $20, which means that my total budget for this trip wound up being $197.78, which is really exciting. Hit under 200. So we're gonna load this bad boy up and then we're gonna pack my bag up because tomorrow's the day! 1970 called. It wants its cool factor back. It doesn't feel terrible. It feels pretty comfortable. Woo, hiking! Good morning! It's 5.45 on the day of the hike. I'm gonna grab some coffee. Yeah, get this business on the road. Here we are at the trailhead of Baker Lake. It is very misty and cold. This is the crew. Uh, Let's go hike. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, here we go. Walking on the trail. I feel so vintage. Look at all this green. This is one thing I really, I really missed out on being born on the East Coast is all of this like lush old growth forest stuff. I love it. Man, this is so pretty and easy right now. Good choice, Miranda. Thank you, Miranda. Look at this beautiful tree. Look at this cool bridge. Bridge, walking on a bridge. Bridge, bridge, bridge. Also, it smells like skunk. This is skunk bridge. Dude, I love all these bridges. This is so beautiful. Come on, crew. Keep up. Slow pokes. So many bridges. Not a bridge. Check this bridge out. If you are into bridges, this is the best backpacking trip. Bridges galore. You got your wood bridges, you got your log bridges, you got your built bridge. Woo. One of the huge benefits of backpacking in the shoulder season is that you're normally the only person here. Look, a river crossing. I'm really glad I have my waterproof shoes. So far, I haven't really minded my pack. It's kind of fun to carry an external frame pack. I do wish that I had a water bottle pocket because my water bottle is just dangling right there. So what happened? I fell. Where'd you fall? Water. My leg is wet. Woohoo! Backpacking, so prepared. Oh no. My butt is wet. My underwear is wet, but my sense of humor is dry. Boo. We just got to Maple Grove campsite, which is about halfway to where we're headed for the night. Uh, we're gonna stop and eat some lunch. So far, my pack actually feels pretty good, but I'm actually impressed because this pack is shedding water really well, uh, which is awesome since it's definitely not waterproof. Also, it's so pretty. So honestly, I haven't noticed much of a difference between carrying this like budget gear or lower price gear and carrying my regular gear. All right, well, it's lunchtime, so I'm going to eat my tortillas and my banana and peanut butter and then get back to hiking. Carrots and peanut butter, the underrated vehicle to get peanut butter to your mouth. We came from down there. We're gonna keep going up there. We had to say goodbye to our beautiful lunch spot, but it looks like our campground is actually on the water as well. So we're hoping it is as gorgeous as this was. We came to a bit of an impasse, but uh, it seems like we can get through. Yip, beep, beep. Dee, dee, dee. Woohoo! Did it! We're just about three miles from camp. My pack is starting to feel a bit uncomfortable. 
There's like a hot spot rubbing on my lower back. Missing my gear, that's for sure. Although overall, very comfortable. These boots are holding up super well. So I realized we've been hiking for almost, almost seven miles and I haven't even drank a full liter of water. But I'm so used to having a reservoir. And this old pack doesn't have that. That's my biggest complaint is that I'm thirsty. Otherwise, it is lovely. Look at all this stuff. Oh. There's no water to fall in, so I feel like I'm probably okay. <laughs> okay, we did it. Almost there. Woohoo. Guys, look at this just big moss tongue. That is really cool. Free nature's pillow. Nature's toilet paper, though, am I right? Almost there. Man, this is like the bridge. Our campground must be close. The water is like crazy crystal clear. It's beautiful. And it's like right that prime beautiful time of day where as a backpacker, you know for certain that it's time to set up your camp. Oh my gosh. Woohoo! we made it to Noisy Creek. Outside of the picnic table <gasps> and a tent platform. Oh my gosh, there's more over there. We should set up on this one like a big happy family. Oh my gosh, my body is so much happier. Oh, let's set up camp. This is definitely the newest, nicest piece of gear that I'm carrying on this trip, and that's because I rented it. Sweet. I'm gonna put my tent here. <laughs> Plus, then I get the best view. And this is my show, damn it. Next, I would blow up my sleeping pad, but I just have this piece of blue foam, so I'm just gonna throw my sleeping stuff in here, uh, get my layers on, and eat dinner. My tent setup was super easy, because I didn't bring any with me. I hope I'm warm enough in here. I don't know that I will be. It is seven o'clock, and I've been sitting in my tent for basically an hour, but before I go to sleep, it's been a long day, It's about 8.30 at night, we're finally going to sleep. I'm feeling cozy in my sleeping bags. My sleeping pad is not very comfortable, but it's keeping me off the ground. I'm gonna wake up early with the sunshine and uh, hike back out tomorrow. Good night, Rainer. Good night. Good night, Abby. Good night. Good night, friends. Good morning. It is like 6.30 in the morning. I was not warm last night, but I also wasn't freezing, so I feel like that might be a success. But I'm gonna finish my breakfast, pack up my stuff, and we're gonna hit the trail. Day two! I think we're done. Nine miles back to the car. I don't know if you can tell, but it's raining. That's why the poncho. They do actually make ponchos that you can use to cover your backpack as well as yourself when you're backpacking, but they cost $35. This one was five. Okay, I can't figure my buggle out. Uh, <laughs> goodbye camp, goodbye pooper. If you're curious what the toilet was, it's literally a toilet in the woods. One last view here before we go. Absolutely gorgeous. Twins, look at you guys twinning. And our last stop that we're going over is this big, beautiful bridge. Apparently it's very slippy. Ah! We're about, I think like two miles from the trailhead. My feet are starting to really hurt. Although I am very impressed with these boots. They've done a very good job. I am really glad that it stopped raining. I can see my car. Hooray, we did it. I'm gonna take this thing off. So can you do an overnight backpacking trip, buying and renting all of your gear and your permits and your food for under $200? Yes! But I wouldn't recommend doing it the way that I did. Give yourself a long timeline to source your gear if you don't have access to rentals. Buying nice gear doesn't mean that it has to be really expensive. I know I'm a little biased because I work for REI, but REI does have an awesome online used gear site where you can buy stuff and get it 
shipped wherever you want. And then there are lots of trading sites. So by all means, look for the nice stuff on discount. Look for sales on last year's colors. But having that nice gear is going to make a big difference with your comfort on the trail. Backpacking should be a balance between discomfort and enjoyment of the outdoors. We do this so that we can get farther outside. You're going to enjoy your trip a lot more if you're comfortable, obviously. We like stuff when we're comfortable. Yeah. Do we like stuff if we're discomfortable? Is discomfortable a word? I'm tired. Anyway, this has been my $200 budget backpacking trip. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any other suggestions about videos that I should do, write those in the comments below. Now get out of here and I will see you all outside. Benjamin number one, Benjamin number two. This is Benjamin, right? Yeah, wow, that'd be embarrassing.